What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Jessica caught in a lie, Runic TV. I don't know. Let's get it. It was a lot going on with that video with Jessica and Runic kissing. Let's start with Runic because he dropped a video with him and Jessica. I didn't know that Runic had somebody video that. Like I, I'm, 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 I've been re rewatching the video over all morning, and I still can't comprehend. What the? Look, this one. This is your money bag. Do it up. You didn't know nobody was filming that. Stop the cap. <laughs> Why are everybody be lying? Runic dropped another video of him and Jessica kissing because she said she was drunk in the car. So I guess he's trying to show that they also kissed in a club before she got drunk. But a lot of people in the comments were saying that the kiss looked forced. Yeah, I was just about to say, I ain't gonna lie, he really forcing it a lot. Though. I'll leave y'all thoughts in the comments. Let me know what y'all thinking. But after the video with Jessica and Runic dropped, Mel Mel, the person that she's currently dating, was still at her house. His sister Brooklyn was there, also dated a toast. You can see his hand in the video. So I don't think Mel Mel was phased by the situation, despite what Jessica's own sister said about Runic and Jessica messing around behind Mel Mel's back. Due to the fact that it's not worth it, how do you feel about everyone keep trying to compare you with Mel Mel, if that's his name? Like, they keep trying to, you know, compare... This so messy. <laughs> I ain't, Look, his name is Messy Maj for a reason, so I don't blame him, but... God! And it don't seem like the Shea brother on that type of time. Your friendship, you know, that Jessica has with you compared to Mel Mel's friendship that she has with Jessica, what that he has with Jessica. How you feel about that? I mean, I can't speak on that. I don't know him, you hear me? So I, I don't know. Yeah, that's on them. Like, I, ain't, I don't even, you know what I'm saying? I don't even get into all that. Last night, know. Sierra said that she was trying to help you. That's why she gave you the phone call yeah. and she told you everything that Jessica the prankster sister told her on the phone. Yeah, but like still, what's the point of her getting involved? Because she felt played because everybody... Sierra's getting involved again. Sierra, sit this one out. Asked her on TikTok saying that she was crazy and for Cocoa Puffs because literally something that y'all swept underneath the table. But why was it her concern? Well, we not, we not together. Sarah. It don't matter. I could go talk to the lady, the homeless lady down the street. You hear me? Like, why you why you trying to interfere in that? Mm. And that could be my friend. Tell me you what up, man. Sierra comes up on she ain't your friend. It's very obvious she ain't your friend. Here she's going to say, "How are you buying Jessica bags yeah. when the baby didn't go to Disney World?" Right. Look, I went to Orlando two weeks before my son's birthday, mm -hmm. so I told her, "I said I'm gonna be back." She literally like the day of the birthday, I got text messages and shit, but. Basically, I blew her fucking phone up. I'm like, look, I'm here. I'm back. It's my son's birthday. Like, let me do some shit with him. She just kept yapping, ignoring my calls. And I was just like frustrated about the shit. Not so yapping I and ignoring at the same time. Left the shit alone. At the end of the day, I'm going to say about around 9, 10 o'clock p.m., she finally hit me back talking about come get them. Like, what? Like, nah, that shit did, bro. So... But it, it's good though. It's good though, cause at the end of the day, bro, my son's straight, bro. You know he ain't got to worry about shit. So facts, facts. That's, that's one thing I will say. You pay the rent for your baby mama and the kids. So I'm yeah, gonna do Nobody really speaks on that, but you doing your shit. Wow, I do more than that though, bro. I pay. I pay for everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, as you should. As you should. Not as Sierra, you should. She, she done done some shit like this before, but you know I still want to see her win. You hear me? I hope she finds somebody. Well, you can say these things to Sierra because here she goes. Sierra. Oh, oh my God. Oh, Maj is messy as hell. Don't get me started, I bro. Because I, I didn't bro. try to, I wasn't going to try to I come on here. What you right? leaving for? This is a family reunion. But, Michael, go. don't start because I, I will come go. on the scene. Michael, no, thank you, Michael. Michael. You went thank to the mall Michael. on your son's don't birthday. You you went to the mall on your son's birthday, went to go buy that bag, didn't buy Saya's shit. I asked you, did you want to see Saya for his birthday? You said, no, you're busy. And you went to Orlando to give the girl the bag and spent time out there on Saya's birthday. So Runic done came on her line. And two weeks prior, you spent time with her on, you know, two weeks prior. Lord knows he got me thinking she crazy as hell. This, this is probably Runic. Which we were supposed to go to Disney World two weeks before his birthday anyways. Mm -hmm. And he's trying to make it seem like, oh, you know, he's just a fucking liar, bro. This shit is dead. 
with this situation, I'm talking about overall, is either we leave this shit alone, and I'm talking to like Jessica and Sierra. I hope y'all hear this shit. Huh? We could either leave this shit alone or shit will get worse. I'm what Jessica got to do with it? Jessica over there with a new nigga. I'm talking about like, <laughs> they both know what up. And I'm not, I'm not saying it to say, you know what I'm saying, egg it on mode. I'm saying leave it alone, bro, because y'all know this shit only getting worse. Jessica Friends had a lot to say to Sierra as well. But basically what Sierra basically was saying was that um, basically you're Saudi. You came at her neck the way you did in... Uh, at the end of the day, you getting turned about a video about Rooney giving a kiss to a, a woman you were stressed out over. Did he kiss you though? He went to Florida to go see her though. Did he take them kids of y'all's down there to Florida though? He still didn't pick you. Then I just got back home to see you DM me talking about some, cause she sent me the video in the DMs just now. Talking about some what you gotta say now. Daddy still didn't pick you. At the end of the day, you still the bitter baby mama. That damn position still never changed. <laughs> Jessica's mom also spoke out. Daddy didn't pick Jessica. Mom is cr the moms is crazy. Who are wondering why they haven't put up content now that Jessica's back in Atlanta. Here's what her mom had to say. Um, have been asking questions about certain um things that that's going on with the Jessica the prankster page. Number one, Jessica the prankster page. Um. I don't um, post on there anymore because I don't know what happened to the page, whether she took the page, got mad, took the page, or whatever she did to the page. Um, but that problem right there, a lot of people think that Jessica moved back home to Atlanta with me. Jessica left here July the 28th or the 29th of last year. She moved to California and did what she did. Hoorah, hoorah. Jessica has not come back to this house. Jessica comes to Atlanta. She don't call. She don't come by. She don't do none of that. Okay. I am not in contact with Jessica. Okay. Me as a parent, you try to you try to control your kids. You try to do the best you can. You try to lead them in the right way. And some kids just don't want to listen to what you got to say. Okay. Well, sometimes your way ain't always right either. Okay. Um, I never tried to harm Jessica in any way. I, what I did was try to mother her and give her advice that she did not want to take. You know, I, I, I don't, I don't have no grudges against anybody or anything. Um, I love Jessica to death, always will, don't have no problems with her, but Jessica, um, has people in her life right now that don't know, um, what happened or what they think is going on um she's following you know a, a certain people that um don't know the backstory as a matter of fact they don't know the story at all i don't post nothing on social media that i can't back up okay and in order for you to be a woman and stand your ground or whatever you want to stand on is your prerogative okay but don't come sending messages are posting about the duo is back together okay because we're not back together okay someone sent me a thing saying that she said that i'm literally her angel okay well you don't treat angel like shit you don't treat angels like shit oh. okay and personally i'm just tired um of seeing the the messages i'm tired of people thinking that she came back here to help me um I'm tired of people assuming, you know, that everything is um, a okay. All right, I'm okay. Oh, okay. God gonna bless me. Oh, girl, we when he nervous. closed one door, he's gonna open double doors. But in this video, Jessica talks about the kiss and everything else. Mama is strong, and I see she looked just like her mom. You're you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get lit. So I'm lit. My friend, my friends were were there, but they were lit too. Real Nick was lit. So everybody was lit. So the the, the club was over. It was like three a.m. And after that, I said, Real Nick, you need to. We're gonna. I'm gonna drop you back to the hotel because the people he was with, nobody wanted to drop him back to the hotel. Um, so me, I'm always, I'm I'm always the person that makes sure everybody is good. So, um. 
he said, I can drive myself, I can drive myself, I can drive myself. He said, bro, I swear to God, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. So I'm like, okay, I knew for a fact that I couldn't drive because I'm so lit. So, um, he get we get in the car. I'm trying to remember it. Because I, I, I remember pieces, but I was just so, like, I was blacked out. So... He, we got in the car and he drove to the hotel, but he was like, you know, he was lit. You could tell, but he drove himself back to the hotel. We got to the hotel and I was going to get out and get in the back in, on the driver's side because it was my car that he was driving. But I knew that I couldn't drive, but I sobered up just a little bit. Um, so I didn't drive. My friend drove us back to where we needed to be. But before I could get out the car, he said, hey, um, I have something for you. I'll be back. So I looked at, back at my friends and I'm like, like, what do you mean you have to like what? I, I didn't know you, you had something for me. So um, he went up and I was just talking to my friend. I'm like, is she trying to justify this this Louis Vuitton bag? What do, do y'all think he have? What do y'all think he have? And I was like, I don't know. And I was like, I don't know either. So he came back down maybe like five minutes later and he had a, a Louis Vuitton box. And I'm just like, I thought it was a prank. I thought, I didn't know what it was. So it was a Louis Vuitton box. And um, he said, this is for you. And I said, why? And I swear, he said, just because. Because I was shopping and I was thinking about you. And he was just like, on some cool shit because I fuck with you. Just on some cool stuff. And I said, what? Like, I was just in shock. Like, first of all, I was drunk. I didn't know what was going on. All I seen was a, a bag and all of this. So I'm like, you know, okay. Like, I, you know, I was very appreciative. So I opened it. It was, it was the bag. And then I gave him a hug. And then he was lit. And just, I was lit. And then, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's all I can really say. He's um, a terrible liar. I'm not going to lie. Um... I didn't know that Runic had somebody video that. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm. I've been rewatching re the video over all morning, and I still can't comprehend that that has happened. But I do know that next day, um, we let it be known that it was no, just friendship. Um, nothing more, nothing less. We're all human. We all make mistakes, um, um, and that's just what happened. So. You know, I um, I don't really don't know what else to say. Cause but, there ain't nothing to say. You, you know, you can only take a lot too far. I mean, uh, uh, but so far. Now, don't don't get me wrong. I don't think like maybe they didn't do anything before that or whatever. Maybe they haven't done anything at all. So maybe that's why she was surprised. But something made him want to do that. Maybe because he was drunk. You know, niggas ain't shit. Who knows? But. I don't know. It's something. Something ain't right. I apologize. I got to put some lotion on my face. I know y'all. Yeah. Everybody that I offended, or you know, but we all make mistakes. We're all human, um, and this happened after the fact that uh, after the situation of Sierra stating that um, me and Ronick were together. No, me and Ronick has never been together. Me and Ronick will never be together, ever in life. Like it's it's never been nothing like that ever. So yeah, people make mistakes. And I'm I'm grown as hell, literally. I pay my own bills, do all of that. I'm grown, so I can admit like when I'm wrong. I can admit when I'm right, and I'm not gonna sit here and deny anything. Cause duh, the fucking it's it's proof is there right there. Um, I woke up to it, so I just want to get on here and just um, you know, to just basically tell my side of everything. Um, no, yeah, like I said, no. Me and Runic has never been together. Me and Runic has never slept in the same bed. Me and Runic, no. No, 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 no. So that's what happened. And that's all I could really say. So, um, yeah. All right, I'm done with this. <clears throat> y'all let me know. Uh, I know my face, Ashley. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. She said that's all that happened, which um, clearly we that is all we seen on the video. But that doesn't mean that they ain't on that type timing. <laughs> But if she say they ain't, we can only go off Tyson her word. Hell, I wouldn't there. Y'all let me know what you think. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yo.